I would say it has been a roller coaster ride ever since we started at this institution. And just to give you a, how, what we have done in a nutshell and how we achieved it is my main aim in this short report. And uh, we, we did the first case in February 2010, and uh, we started Medanta Veticuti Institute in, in that year. And probably that has been one of the things which has helped us uh, build on the confidence of the people, building manpower, and uh, uh, you know, m knowing more about procedures and trying to uh, develop them. And we had workshops, and these were not workshops you know, where you would collect people from all around. They are in-house workshops. We collected cases, we got the right people, we worked on them, and then carried on. We had a workshop on prostatectomies uh, with Dr. Manon, Dr. Peabody, partial nephrectomy with Dr. Craig Rogers, with Mort Craig, uh, Alex Mottry. We had a urinary diversion workshops where we worked on intracorporeal conduits and new bladders with Dr. Mottry. And similarly, cardiac, oral surgery, and other workshops have been helped by Veticuti uh, Foundation. Uh, which helped us uh, get on with the work. And uh, that has been, this is the number of cases that we have done so far. From 77 in 2010, we did 232 in 11, and 350 cases in 12. And we have done 259 in 2013 in first six months, and projected probably uh, reaching five, 500 cases this year. So that, that's the project. And uh, department-wise, we say that you know, uh, mainly has been, it is a multi-speciality institution, and where all the specialities have been working and trying to develop. And, and the major, apart from urology, major contribution has been from gynecology and thoracic surgery, but even others, you know, cardiac, liver unit, gastroenterology, oral, ENT, everybody has been adding on the cases. Uh, uh, urology, robotic procedures, you know, this is quarterly rise that we have uh, been able to achieve. We did 90 cases in the last quarter, second quarter of, the, of 2013. And how did we achieve this kind of growth is probably in, uh, had some introspection. And probably what we can say is that number one, what we did was that we gradually transferred our lab cases. If you see that from 2011, our lab has flattened while the robotic is going up. So all procedures which we thought should be done or can be done robotically, we transferred these cases. You know, pyeloplasties, cystectomies, uh, uh, prostatectomies were already, well, all prostatectomies were being done. And uh, partial nephrectomies, we were doing a lot of partial nephrectomies laparoscopically till that time. We transferred uh, partial nephrectomies. And that is, we, our, although our lab work flattened, but we still do all our plain nephrectomies, ablative nephrectomies, donor nephrectomies laparoscopically. But we all skilled part of uh, lab, we shifted to robotic. And uh, the second thing that we did was that we involved all specialities. So 76% of our work is from urology in this institution. But that means that 25% of the work comes from other specialities. And 12% from gynecology, Dr. Sabita Gupta is doing an excellent job. 6% from uh, thoracic surgery, and 6% from other cases, you know, cardiac, liver, head and neck, and GI surgery. Uh, then, apart from the multiple specialties, within the same specialties, you know, we had multiple surgeons, skilled people. You know, uh, we involved Professor Gupta, he was probably one of the most experienced people at that time, to come and join us, and he, which, which has helped us. Uh, Gagan has uh, trained himself in robotics properly for two years uh, fellowship in the US. He came back and joined us. And we, in-house, we encouraged everybody in the department to work. And that's how we had multiple surgeons in different specialities, which everybody uh, added on to the uh, workload. And the next thing that we did was that we uh, radical prostatectomies, partial nephrectomies, cystectomies, pyeloplasties, nephrourotrectomies, urethrovesicostomies, these are all established. Everybody does them robotically. But what we did was that we extended beyond them. And uh, what we did was that we added new procedures and entrusted them to younger people who would take them forward. These are, these are the people for the future. And that's, that is what we have in, uh, emphasized on in our department, especially in urology. Conduits, uh, Gagan and Manav, they have been spearheading it. 
urogynecologic procedures, Dr. Amita Jain, who is a gynecologist working with us in urology department. She's the spearheading it. Ileoinguinal lymphadenectomy, Dr. Khera has been doing cases now on lymphadenectomies. Uh, Transvesical prostatectomies have been started in the de department and renal transplant uh, has been started. So, you know, these are all, and giving them to, um, encouraging younger people to come up, work on them, and taking them forward has been the main aim. So, uh, apart from that, coming out of this work, we have had multiple presentations, international, national, and everybody in, in all the departments, they have contributed to these. And our anesthesia department is also very good, who has been, uh, you know, collecting robotic data and presenting that nationally and inter internationally. And uh, we, don't, we don't want to stop at this place. We want to be looking at the future. We are trying to come up with a new robotic surgery complex with 3D transmissions and OR screens. We want to have a regional training center in our place. And we are by adding a dual console robot and a simulator. Thank you very much.